So just before we open the socket cover up, you notice we've got this triangle on the top left hand side and that's going to line up with a mark on our CPU. So we can go ahead and push the lever down, bring it all the way to the middle of the motherboard and then we're going to be able to open the socket cover up. Again with the socket cover opened up you've noticed we've got this gold triangle again at the top left hand corner. Similar to our Intel socket we've got all the pins in the sockets so we're going to have to take real care not to damage these. The Intel motherboards you can sometimes bend the pins back into position if you have bent them although it's not easy to do. It's almost impossible in these M5 sockets to put the pins back into line so take real care you don't damage them. Again we've got a little notch here and a notch here which is going to line up with notches in our CPU. So this is our AMD CPU, it's in 9700X, so you can see the gold triangle at the top left hand corner which is going to line up with the mark on the socket. And as I mentioned the easiest way with this latest generation of CPUs is just to install them with the text the correct way up. This doesn't apply to older generations where sometimes the text was on its side. Again on the underside we've got that gold triangle which when we turn the CPU around it will line up with the mark on the socket. And we've got little notches in the CPU which are going to help line up with notches in the socket. So we're just again going to lower our CPU down carefully, text the correct way up and holding it by the edges. If it falls into the socket grid and if it doesn't we just a little wiggle and that's got it to fall into place. Before we close anything we want to check it's sitting correctly and the easiest way is just to slide it up and down there's no movement and side to side there's no movement and those two notches are holding the CPU in place. We can then close our socket cover down and again don't be alarmed if the white bit of plastic pops off. So not quite as dramatic as on the Intel board, but we're still going to put it in our motherboard box for safekeeping.